What's up guys, my name is Devin, also known as FBE, and welcome back to another episode of Footballers. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Nike Alpha Menace Elite 3.0. Alright guys, here are the brand new Nike Alpha Menace Elite 3.0s. I'll give you guys a good look at the tag here. These are a size 9 in the white and college navy colorway. Typical orange Nike box here. Let's get into the box. We've got some nice paper, and here is the new cleats. Guys, I just want to take a quick second away from the video and let you know how you can get access to all these videos up to a month early. You see, when we create videos, we'll actually make around four or five at a time, and then we'll schedule them to release on YouTube once a week, every Monday. But if you're a YouTube member, you actually get all these videos as soon as they release. Now with the YouTube membership, you'll get tons of benefits like custom badges when you comment on our videos, all of our videos early, polls and posts asking for feedback on all of our upcoming projects, and you'll also get bigger discounts on stuff like our merchandise and shock visors. If you want to become a member, all you have to do is hit that join button or click one of the first links in the description down below. All right, back to the video. Give you guys a couple seconds to really soak it in. So this is the brand new Nike Alpha Menace Elite 3.0. The Alpha Menace line is Nike's big skill line. So this is meant for QBs, running backs, tight ends, linebackers, and defensive ends. Uh, bigger guys who like a lightweight cleat, but need a little bit of ankle support as well. So the first thing I like to look at is the overall design of the cleat. As you guys can see, this is a mid to high cut cleat. You do have this new uh, fly knit collar. I know it's fly knit because right here we've got a fly knit engineered 360 fit. So I assume 360 fit um, is referring to the actual way this cleat laces up, which I'm not 100% sure how that is quite yet. If it has laces, if it doesn't. Um, and then as you guys can see, this fly knit kind of continues here. It does have a ghost lacing. So that leads me to believe there is some sort of lace system underneath uh, this ghost lacing sheath right here. Um, so yeah, not too sure what's going on there yet. One thing I really love is this new 3D swoosh. It kind of looks like a lightning bolt. It's just a really sharp design. I think it looks really cool on the top of the foot. Let me get out the second cleat. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. So the next thing I've noticed that I want to talk about is this really, really tough upper. This tupper is very thick. It kind of reminds me of like a tarp material. Um, I don't know if you guys, how well you guys can hear that, but it's very thick. Seems like it'll be really durable. Obviously, we've got to, we got to test them out still, um, but a really unique material that I don't think I've seen Nike really use in the past. Um, it looks like it's just this really thick, thick overlay covering all the internals. So it'd be cool to cut this cleat open and kind of see what makes it tick. Um, maybe we'll do that for you guys. Um, we'll see. Next thing I want to talk about is this brand new traction plate. This thing looks incredible. It looks like you've got 15 sharp triangle studs. You guys know I love triangle studs. I feel like they just grip in the ground so much better uh, than circle studs. It seems that this traction plate is actually two pieces. You have the, let's see if it'll focus. Um, stability frame, which is this white piece that kind of cuts through uh, the navy part of the traction plate. So it looks like it's two pieces kind of put together. Um, and this, I assume that this frame is going to give you guys a little bit of that stability. Um, you've got four, you know, pretty large uh, studs in the back. Again, they're triangle, very sharp, um, which I like. You've got some kind of baby studs here. I don't know how well you guys can see that, um, but it's very small. I can't really imagine that giving you guys a ton of real traction but they're there for a reason. Nike Nike knows this stuff a lot better than I do, uh, but an all new traction plate different from past Alpha Menaces. So this is the Nike Alpha Menace Elite 2. And as you guys can see, the traction plate is much different. Uh, the studs are relatively in similar spots, um, but just a little bit of a different look. Honestly, it's, it's more than a little bit, it's pretty cool. Now I know we're kind of all over the place, but continuing with the uh, look of the cleat, I do love this Alpha branding here. It's really sharp. It looks like this kind of, uh, what do you call that? A half hexagon kind of comes up from the traction plate. Um, maybe to offer a little bit of stability, but it, it doesn't really seem to be all that stable, so I'm not really sure. And then it's on the inside as well. You've got a black Nike swoosh here, the big Nike swoosh we talked about earlier here. So another cool little detail I noticed is this thing on the side of the heel. It says engineered for agility. Uh, the Alpha Menace line has always had some of the best traction uh, for you big skills. Super sharp studs, super long, like I mentioned earlier. Um, so that works great for guys who need that agility. And then on the other part, it says agility system, internal midsole, lock in containment. So I'm not 100% sure what that means. I'm sure I'll learn a little bit more about it. So it does appear that we do have laces, which is a good thing. Um, oh, here they are right here. So they are in there, kind of tucked away. There we go, getting them laced. And then if we can kind of get a look underneath that, I don't know how well you guys can really see what's going on here. Um, but it looks like a pretty normal lacing system. And then there's like this piece of um, kind of like a fake leatherish material that kind of goes over the top of your foot to kind of secure the top, which is, it's, it looks like it'll fit pretty nice. Next thing I want to do is take a look at the actual insole of the cleat. So just like past models, this is kind of a unique insole. Um, it has like the regular soft part here and then kind of some exposed foam on the outside, which is really cool. And then the inside or the other side rather, 
has that same lightning bolt logo, Nike logo there, and then kind of a cool pattern here that should, you know, stay pretty stiff inside the cleat, which obviously you need. Something I like about these insoles is that since it is kind of raised, it does kind of hug your foot and keep it in one spot so it's not sliding around inside the cleat. Next, I want to show you guys the inside of the cleat. Check out this very thick uh, heel, ankle foam, whatever you guys want to call it. It looks like there's going to be a lot of comfort, a lot of support. So yeah, overall, very excited to test this thing out and uh, let you guys know how it performs. Let's get to that part of the video. When reviewing football cleats, there's a couple different things I like to look for and talk about in these videos. The first thing is going to be comfort. Then we're going to take a look at the fit and support. We're going to look at the traction, the price, the style, and what positions this cleat is built for. We're going to kick off this review and we're going to talk about the comfort of the cleat. At first, these cleats were a little bit stiff, but overall, they're pretty cozy. Most of this upper is built from Nike's super light but super strong Nike flying it material that you guys see here, but it does have this weird kind of TPU tarp material covering most of it up. The fly knit is exposed here on the tongue part of the cleat, and then of course this really cool ankle collar. It's very soft on the inside of the cleat, and these do have a super thick, super cushiony foam insole. These cleats also have some really awesome ankle slash heel support. As you guys can see, they've got like a nice inch thick foam around that Achilles, and it feels really nice. If you guys don't know, the Nike Alpha Menace line is built for the biggest, strongest, fastest guys on the field all you big skills. So what that means is that there's a lot of room inside this cleat and I think it's gonna work really good for some of you guys with wider feet. One thing I'm not such a huge fan of is how hot your feet get in this cleat. Since it has this weird tarp material overlay, it does get pretty hot in there, but you are gonna get some air through this fly knit uh, part right here and then through the collar itself. Something I love about these cleats is how easy they are to get on. I feel like that's such an underrated part of a football cleat. These have two awesome tabs, one in the back, one in the front, and they stretch, this whole collar stretches a whole bunch, so you guys should be able to stick your foot in there, no problem. Overall, this is one of the more comfortable big steel cleats on the market. I really like how it feels when your foot is inside. Next thing we're gonna talk about in this video is the fit and support of this cleat. As I mentioned earlier, these cleats are definitely built with the big skills in mind. They're definitely suited for the big, strong, powerful guys on the football field. These cleats are a little bit wider and they have a nice high ankle cuff for a little bit more added support around the ankle. The collar on these cleats is built from Nike's Flyknit, which is a thinner material, so you're not gonna get a ton of support, but you definitely do feel it a little bit. I don't think that these cleats have as much support as the previous model because these have an awesome thick strap that helped lock it down, and the cuff is also a little bit higher if you guys kinda check it out there. Um, so you definitely got more support with these, um, but these aren't bad. Something I'm not a huge fan of with these cleats is the ghost lacing system. Most of the ghost lacing system seems to be hidden by this ghost lacing sheath. It's all underneath the outer material, um, but it seems that these laces run through the side of your foot and connect to eyelets that go to the base of the cleat. These cleats also have some elastic running as like a T-shape over the top of your foot, and what this is gonna do is it's gonna make the cleats fit snug without sacrificing too much flexibility. The overall lacing system seems to be super intricate, super technical, but I just couldn't get a tight fit because of where these are placed on the side of your foot. So not a huge fan of the ghost lacing system, like I said, it's, it's really detailed, really crazy. I'm sure there's a lot of innovation involved in it, but it just didn't work for me. I couldn't get a tight fit that I wanted. Next thing I want to talk about is the weight of this cleat. These cleats in a size 9 weigh 14.2 ounces. 14.2 ounces is a little bit heavier than the last model, which was only 12.8 ounces. Next thing I want to talk about is the traction. This new Alpha Menace traction plate looks to be closely related to the traction plate that is on the Nike Vapor Edge 360 Pro, but it is a little bit different as you guys can see. Instead of being two pieces like this one, this is a one piece traction plate with a stability X frame running through the center. These cleats have 14 sharp triangle studs in the front and then you've got four kind of T-shaped in the rear. Similar to the edge traction plate, these studs are strategically placed at the outermost parts of your foot. So when you decide to cut, these studs are the first thing hitting the ground making your cut sharper and more efficient. The Nike Alpha Menace line has always been built for agility and this year is no different. Cutting in these feels super efficient, super natural. Um, you can get in and out of breaks really quickly. These things feel great. This is one of the best traction plates on the market. If you guys look closely at the traction plate of this cleat, you can kind of see the shank that runs underneath the insole and above the traction plate. And that is what gives you that springy feel. It kind of feels like it springs you into your next step, makes you feel a little bit faster. Um, you're probably not any faster, but it feels cool. Overall, this traction plate is amazing and it's perfect for the big guys who need to cut on a dime. Next thing we're gonna talk about is style. When these cleats were first linked by yours truly over a year ago, I was a little bit skeptical on the design. While waiting on these cleats for over a year and now finally having them in hand, I can confidently say the design has grown on me. These cleats look super modern. I love this 3D lightning Nike swoosh. I love the details on the side of the heel. I love the alpha branding on the outside and then the fly knit collar is beautiful. 
As I make this video, we have three colorways. We have this white in college navy, we have white in red, and then we have this really cool white slash gray colorway. Overall, these things look sweet. I just think we need more colorways ASAP. Next thing we're gonna talk about is what position these cleats are made for. These cleats are a big skill cleat through and through. The Nike Alpha Menace line has always catered to those big, strong, powerful guys, and that's going to include QBs, running backs, tight ends, linebackers, and defensive ends. We've already seen Saquon Barkley and Khalil Mack wearing these cleats, and those guys are some of the most powerful and strong players in the NFL. Next thing we're going to talk about is the price. These cleats retail at $200, which is pretty typical for a Nike Elite football cleat. These cleats are filled with the latest Nike innovation and materials, and they perform better than anything else on the market, so I'd say they are worth the hefty price tag. Overall, these cleats are a game changer. These are hands down the best big skill cleat I have tested for this year. These cleats fit great, they have great support, some of the best traction, and they look absolutely stunning. What more can you ask for? There you guys have it. There is the full unboxing and review on the brand new Nike Alpha Menace Elite 3.0. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, consider hitting like, comment, subscribe for more just like this one. My name is Devin, also known as FBE, and thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of Footballers.